the other. Let's see. All right now, everybody. It is time for Shishigami versus Red. Cousins sadly pinned up against each other. Let's see what happens here. We've seen Red be overconfident in the past. We've seen him strut. We've seen him do a little bit of everything. And I believe this is a rematch between the two. I believe this was uh, Shishigami's qualifier into uh, top eight. So he won up against Red before. Let's see if he can bring that pain right back. Of course, Jenny, you know, she can keep the pressure just as well with herself. We've seen these rockets up against Rat Dog, almost bringing a shield there. We've seen the pressure up against Rat Dog, we've seen it all. Hammer Wave, definitely gonna be able to get rid of the logs or potentially knock it back. I'm not sure how that interaction works, so I'm sure we'll learn. But good aerial force strong. Just gonna be able to keep up the pressure. I think Jenny has everything she needs for Ren and Stimpy. Can definitely play as, as defensive as them. That rocket can be able to get some back shots. What? That rocket can be able to get some back shots. I don't know. It's really going to depend on just how well do the which one wants to sit back more in this matchup because both of them easily can. We could have a long one. We could not. But uses the umbrella to stall for airtime. You'd love to see it from Jenny. But gonna, the log is gonna get a lucky hit though. <laughs> but storm for that airtime. Trying to get past the log. Trying to do everything that he can. <laughs> but I like it. I like it trying to use the hitbox of Varial Forge trying to make it back to the stage. Get past the log. Skip that, but get past whatever. Because Jenny has a giant backer herself. Let's get Fantastic Nair. I think Jenny is definitely going to be able to keep up and outspeed Ren and Stimpy, you know, frame-wise, but also brings her own hitbox as well with that giant back air. There we go, okay, the hammer, I think, I don't know if that was the wave or the hammer, but definitely knocked it back, so Jenny is going to be able to answer to constantly knock it back as well. Rocket also knocking back <laughs> as well. But Ren and Stimpy, too slow too heavy is going to get knocked around left and right by whatever Jenny's throws off stage. It's really going to be about the edge guarding in this matchup, I think. Either one of them could get the opener by playing defensive or not up against one or the other, but can Shishigami make sure Bread does not recover? And that was really interesting to see. I guess it is a constant hitbox, so that was interesting seeing Jenny's umbrella knock lock back. Spectre is going to take it though, but once again, I think it really, it doesn't matter who gets the opener, it's who can edge guard the other better. We've seen the up airs come out, both of them able to just carry each other. Shishigami holding it for a little bit too long though, gonna get double tapped though. Once again, Ren and Stimpy just too slow. Just cannot get around with Jenny throws off stage. No options by their side. Can only beep beep and pray. And these aerial downstrongs ain't happening, helping either. <laughs> Last stock here. Just Brett just being, just being in control. <laughs> you love to see it freaking happening. Using some good stall time, Butter side will get caught by the down strong though, but is able to make it back. With that F2 coming out, the hurt bread, the up air strings are happening now. But forces bread to burst, they'll just see it. Not getting caught by the down strong. We've seen Shishigami hold that shield, we know what he likes to do, and bread's ready for it. <laughs> But another thing I didn't even realize is that <laughs> Shishigami could have been countering this entire time and trying to build up some charge as well. I didn't even think about that. That's something that <laughs> Shishigami could have been doing this entire match, but a good strong spike is going to take him out. No slime by their side though. Can't ride back up. And Bread is going to take this first game here. Very very nice from both sides now if you excuse me the pizza's in the oven <laughs>
I'm back with pizza in my system now. <laughs> hey, just not able to grab it onto the ledge. Unfortunate for him right there. But this is what it is. He's going to be able to get a good edge guard, hopefully, by the side. Gets caught by the car for once. Able to jump out of that. I like that from Shishigami. But the rocket always comes back. I never doubt it coming back. Can't properly grab Jenny or deal with her like that. No burst here. Getting a little dangerous. Could potentially draw out a little hammer there. Could have potentially. But I like that. Being able to slip, slip right past the shield. Just bounces a hammer way back. Because why not? <laughs> but here, we can see him just hold back. We know that they can. <laughs> Both of these characters can just hold the zone down and just be in control. The fireworks are just getting started though. But let's freaking go. Bread, getting the combo started, but once again, it is Ren and Stimpy. And once we talked about, it's that edge guarding, it's what matters here. Good up throw here. Gonna start the combos. Burst burst is on bread side, but the log is actually gonna knock him back. Log helping out your enemies. You see bread? Tries to go to the little stinky back air in there to knock him off stage. But once again, we're seeing Shishigami not not being afraid to go off stage this time. And once again, I really think this is what they need. Needs to not be afraid to go on off the ledge to challenge Jenny. Good, good, good grab here. Gets the forward throw. Heavy, so not killing. <laughs> I'll never understand how slime car lets him fly. I'll never understand. <laughs> but the mallets, really simply being huge, gonna get caught. The question is, can Shishi find a kill here? Can they get the kill before the next burst comes out? Yep, find some forward strong air. Gonna take the suck like that. But just tans it right off. <laughs> Finds a spike. Nice. But it's not able to find it double time. Any little early kill here that Bread can get is majorly needed. I'm trying to get into the aerial up strong though. Not quite working. can walk counter slowly building up using it a little bit as well i'm not sure how strong it is in this game because you just don't see enough of the waft you would see it all the time in nasby one if someone really did play ren and stippy for some reason but i really don't know how much how strong it is in this game you just don't get to see it but using the nares maybe not the best di from cg side but it is what it is they cousins hey <laughs> so who cares they trolling each other Finding the aerial up strong there, almost getting the kill. Shishigami needs to start panicking here to find some answer to winning this. It gets caught with, gets caught in the aerial down strong. Get the, the back air might just do it. No slime. And there's the mallet, ladies and gentlemen. That is game freaking two. Can Bread close it out one more time? Is the true question. Here, might be change old times. No, we are going to be bringing it to Erkin here. All right, change of scenery. Let's see what freaking happens here. The Erkin, I'm not too sure how well this will help him out here. Of course, it is Shishigami's pick here. Might be able to get some up air extensions here. Might potentially be able to catch Jenny in the air a little bit with these platforms, platform covering logs. I don't know. We'll have to see how well Shishigami adapts and uses this to her advantage. Beep beep's gone. 
We'll get knocked the opposite direction though with that Fort Strong though, but you know what? We take anything we can get. Here we go. Up to it. Going. Gives him the dash attack though. Once again, Rin Stimpy, double tap and everything. Can never be too safe. We just see both of them. Both of them know they can sit there and just take pokes at one another. But a big move, not gonna quite save the day. <laughs> but the back air is coming out, but the burst comes back, avoids it. Durg! I almost just want to make Ren and Simpy's, you know, sounds like a sampler or something, just like, DURG! <laughs> but we see the nods coming out, we know these cousins are trolling each other hardcore. They're in the VC, I know they're in the voice chat with each other right now, trolling one another. <laughs> oh. But for good, double tap coming out, getting them out of the car, there we go, we'll find the stream sniping kill. And we <laughs> just both of them just being able to sit back, it's really. really whoever wants to push some buttons to try to get that poke going that might serve the cost here. You see bread going and getting these up air chains, getting these whatever in, but it does not matter if the kill can't be found. And there we go, back air coming out. We might have to EX. Is Brett able to make it back? No, had to EX, not enough fuel in the tank, unfortunate. I love the Stalin, though. <laughs> but the cousins are fighting each other. They're, they're fighting for control over the Xbox. <laughs> Put a quick dash attack. Wrecking up here, but she's not able to get a proper kill here. But the back air coming out. That's not going to take it. Does not. Did, I don't know if they use slime car or not. Burst is on Shishi's side, though. Ah, good spot dodge. Once again, Shishi on point these spot dodge. Able to spot dodge at the right time. It goes for the high log. Does not catch the aerial strong, though. No teeter. Surprised I didn't actually teeter, but it looks like the back throw is just going to be enough, actually. But once again, one of these characters is so much more easier to kill than the other. All one of them is going to take a back air and perish. But once again, got to avoid those F tilts. We know that leads up for everything, for all the kill subs, for everything, but she should got me. Like it's gonna knock the log right back at him. Tech in action though, but the explosive plays are just happening all over here. Back air once again, closing it out. Full bar by Shishi's side. <laughs> but now we don't find the forward strong, just a little too high for it. <laughs> but just going for a little seven to Sunday afternoon drive there. But going deep once again, she's gummy, not being afraid for it, but not quite finding the forever kill here. Good to get down here into the rocket <laughs> inside from Red. I don't know how he does how he does these setups for real, but got the spike, but was not ready for the tech get up. Try and throw out everything that Brett has, to sn but Shishigami is just able to slip right past it. F throw, not gonna kill, gonna get that burst. But now, with a little rocket, anything's possible. Brett fighting for their life here, avoiding one, avoiding one forge strong now. 87, not looking too good. All it's gonna take is one good throw set up or back air for Shishigami to be able to close this out, but would their locks be enough? Would they perish? 
good up tilt just Tom was going taking them off sides a little bit but it's just not quite enough has to be careful of these strong fares and back airs bread gonna be forced to burst depending on how they move here just bouncing around the rocks might have to EX to be safe and we saw bread Cancel it a little too early there, getting a little too excited. Alright, back with pizza by my side now. Let's get into action now, everybody. Bringing it to game four here, Technodrome. I haven't seen this stage yet with these two, so we have to see how well they use their advantage. Good hit with the umbrella. Fantastic spike coming out from Bread. You love to see this action coming out. Bread can do some of the most awesome stuff I've seen and some of the most lamest stuff, depending on how sassy he's feeling. But we see the double spike coming out. Just not gonna quite work though. But Shishigami here, gonna be putting up as much of a fight as they can. Just getting teetered off of the stage with the si uh, strong there, but not gonna pay too heavily for it. But, but this roll pass, trying to get past that shield, but just not quite working. Down strong, just not gonna quite be strong enough this time. But we find a good back throw, none in it though. Log, not gonna hurt Jenny quite yet. We see back air, no, good get up attack. Tries to go deep with the back air, but that lasting hitbox, gonna <laughs> not give Shishigami anything here. But is able to ledge hog just enough. 69 with the ledge hog, let's go. <laughs> good back air coming out, threatening Shishigami here. But the, but the hit recovery destroys your rocket just in time. Remember, that's got a big old hitbox, minus and boost recovery. Him. Both of them just throwing everything possibly out that they can. Not letting the other get a move here. Fantastic back and forth with this car here. Knows that he can't challenge the umbrella. Might just get sniped for it. The big, but the down strong from Jimmy. Just Jenny, just too big. Gonna take a Shishigami there. But once again, one good back air, one good forward strong can end Brett's life here. Trying to go deep. Might be too deep. Shishigami lost in the sauce, but the cousin SD comes out the homie SD. We love to see those. <laughs> Bros gotta respect each other. <laughs> uh, fun in the back of here. Let's freaking go. Chasing them as much as it possibly can. I like the aerial down strong, but that umbrella has stopped Shishigami time and time again. But gets ulted here, and everybody, that's gonna be loser simmies. Red's gonna end it with an ultimate. No bursting for that man. <laughs>